We've covered in detail how to create the atmospheric particulate matter from the HitFilm 2 trailer in a previous tutorial. In this quick bonus video, we're going to take a look at the lighting effects in this specific shot. Here's the original footage filmed up in North Norfolk. After tracking the shot in Mocha, the chaff particle effect was added into the 3D space and then added to the shot as an embedded composite shot. We have a separate tutorial about using embedded comps if you're not familiar with the concept. I highly recommend checking it out because it's a very, very powerful technique. A simple light flare was added to the horizon to create a visible sun, as the real sun had been slightly out of shot while on location. I then took a simple white plane and added a set matte effect. This was then linked to the particle effect, using the alpha transparency of the particles to create a travelling matte on the plane. The matte cleaner effect was then used to erode the matte, resulting in larger dark patches. A light rays effect was then added to the plane, linked to the same position as the sun flare. The light rays effect was set up to have a very wide radius, which then interacts with the moving particle mat. The light rays only appear when there is white in the vicinity, so the black mat of the moving particles appears to occlude the light rays. Once composited back into the shot, it creates the illusion of a summery afternoon with soft, diffuse light filtering through the airborne particles. Thanks for watching this quick bonus tutorial. I'm Simon Jones from hitfilm.com. Next up in this tutorial series, I'm going to be taking a look at the particles from the musical sequence in the HitFilm 2 trailer. So if you like the shots of the sparks flying off the instruments, make sure you don't miss that one. See you then.